Yeah, yeah, this is your boy T Nasty, and I got a uh, dope video for y'all, man. This video right here is from Lackluster. Cops get fired multiple times. Bounces from department to department. Uh, it should be a very entertaining video because Lackluster don't upload no garbage. You know what I'm saying? This should be very entertaining. Hope y'all enjoy it. But other than that, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave us some comments, and let's go ahead and get to this reaction. Uh, yeah, we, we just noticed you've been following us everywhere right now. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Well, that quality. Oh my god. City. I come from the big city, but this stuff's small. Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. In July of 2018, oh, a post beautiful. on Facebook by Demarcus Where is that? said that he and a group of friends I'm met in England, a small city in Arkansas, with less than 3,000 residents to shoot a music video England, in Arkansas. the neighborhood. Hey, check that out. A local officer watched them as they got together and then followed their vehicles through town. Once they arrived at Bunch's home, he flagged down oh, the officer man, so that they could place, introduce man. themselves. England, Arkansas. Hey, check that out. What up? How you doing? I live in Florida, bro. I need to change the scenery. England, I'm Sam is I'm Mike Moore. All right. We're Dale Scribner, the nephew. Yeah, we're there. Just trying to. Uh, very yeah, respectful, yeah, shaking his hand and everything. Yeah, we, we just noticed you've been following us everywhere. Right now? Yeah. You know why? Because you don't belong in my city. How we, oh, we're wow. Here. But you understand, I know who my people are, right? Who belongs here, who doesn't? Who, who don't? We got gang wars oh. going on. We got all kinds of stuff. And I come from the big city. To be clear, Officer Moore started his career in Greenville, South Carolina. Wait a minute. <laughs> he's not even from Arkansas. He's from South Carolina. You gonna tell somebody they don't belong there? You, you don't belong in the city, and you're not even from there. And they're from there. <laughs> and you can see that for one, right? No matter where in the world you're from, right? If you're visiting the country, no matter where you are, and you have like a passport or whatever, where you can visit the country, no matter. As long as you got a passport, well, whatever, bro. You could do what the hell you, you go wherever you want to, bro. This is a free country. And just say that you don't belong there, and you're not even from there. That is crazy, bro. That's like me saying, that's like me going somewhere else in Florida and like, hey, you don't belong here. This is my city. I'm not even from there. That's crazy. <laughs> Not exactly a city I would describe as big, but we will discuss that more in a moment. I come from the big city, but this stuff's small. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. All right. Do your thing. It's probably a bigger right. city. You, you say we don't belong in your city, though. Can I say something? Yeah. Okay. You don't. I have never seen you here before, and I know almost everybody. Man, here. I grew you up in 101. Well, I, good. I, I, well, I, good. I graduated good. from England High. Well, good for you. My name's Mike. Oh, he seems like a menace. Okay. Yeah. I'm Mike Moore. Here. You not from step away from my car. I'm about to get my dog out. Ooh, yeah, look at wait a He's a menace, bro. After explaining how he Listen. A lot of people like to say uh we should bat the blue, right? And what you should, right? There if it wasn't for the police, it'd be like, ma'am, right? We get it, bro. Like police are there to do a job and they get paid to do a job, but like any other job, you have bad employees, bro. It's like you have, like, say, for instance, you have somebody at a fast food restaurant drops a chicken sandwich, the only chicken sandwich, and it's like, you know what I'm saying, six to seven minutes to cook. So instead of waiting and running the time for that order, you pick that, that chicken sandwich off the ground and you just give it to the customer anyways, right? Example of a bad employee. Cops on a payroll... You have bad employees, bro. Not every cop is a good cop, man. I hope y'all understand that, right? When y'all be like, oh, bat the blue, and uh, I'm, like, watching some cop do some heinous stuff, and, like, you back in the blue. Like, no, bro. And I know why they say bat the blue. We all know why they say bat the blue. <laughs> we we know. I'm not finna go through it right now. I'm not even finna say nothing about it. Maybe in a later video. But you know why they say back in the blue, bro? When they when when these menaces, these these these, these dudes just come out of nowhere and harass people, bro. We get why y'all say that. You know what I'm saying? We know who you are. <laughs> but like for real, bro, this is crazy. He's not even from there, and he's harassing these dudes. He knows everyone in England, Arkansas, while also mentioning that he isn't from there. The officer returns to his vehicle and lets his canine out. 
Hey, y'all get y'all phones out. You got to record that here. No, no. Hey, hey, Uncle Dale, man, can you come over? Bro, I, I'm sure this this car right here, he he doesn't abide by the law. I got a feeling that this car breaks all kind of laws. I just have this feeling, bro. I, I his energy, bro. This from his Uncle energy, Dale bro. Happens to be a uniformed officer within the same department. Nah, he said we don't belong in the city. city. Yeah, he said we don't belong in his city. He ain't even from England. Yeah, we from England. That's what I told him. England, Arkansas, bro. I gotta check that out, bro. Yeah, it's a, it looks like a beautiful place. So what you, what's the point of getting this dog in the first place? Do you even have probable cause to get your dog? Ain't nobody did no wrong, our girl. He the one doing wrong. He bring that dog out. Ain't nobody did no wrong, our girl, man. You ain't even from England. We from here, bro. Hey, Oaks, don't get that charge. No, because he can't, he can't do nothing. I ain't gonna get no truck. I ain't gonna disrespect him. But he ain't finna disrespect Try to shake my hand. Like I said, no, nah, bro, you he good. Can't disrespect you, dude. He leaving. He leaving. Look. He, he's, 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 like, he's like, you got your phone out. You gonna record, man? He, 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 he do that. <laughs> Officer Moore remained parked nearby until the group packed up and left, never filming their video because the situation was so odd. Demarcus showed the video to his uncle Dale, who, as mentioned before, was an officer at the same department. He then filed a complaint with the police chief, and a lieutenant called to get more information, but after a few weeks went by, he heard nothing more about the investigation. He finally decided to post the video to Facebook, and Officer Mike Moore was fired the very next day, Good. which further demonstrates that they these can't agencies do that. cannot adequately police themselves, and why independent media recording the police and posting the videos on public forums for the public to see is so... Look, I, uh, I'm from a city to where uh or county to where i county sheriff gravy judd everybody should know him. he's all over the internet he doesn't allow his sheriff to wear body cameras he don't he don't want him to have body cameras right which should let you know that they're no good right the city where i'm from they have to wear body cameras but because uh i stay out of the city pretty much i have to deal with the sheriff most of the time so i share don't wear body cameras but for the most part they're pretty good right they're pretty good they don't really mess with nobody and shot the uh great judd uh he's cracking down and he, he 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 pretty much does it the right way so the whole body cam thing we really don't we really don't push that like we should, like we're not protesting no dumb shit like that, or going to uh, the, the commissioners or whatever about it. You know what I'm saying? So we let it be because they, they're pretty much, you know, let us be. But I kind of wish, <laughs> I kind of wish I get treated like this, bro. Hey, come to my house or come to where, but pull me over and act like this, bro, because I'm, bro, I need to start giving me some damn, um, some cameras in my truck. I don't know, both of my, my my work truck and my truck. I don't know why, but I feel like I need to do it, bro. Just in case, <laughs> just in case, bro. You know, what I'm saying? just in case, you never know, bro. I, I want to get this money, bro. Hey, come harass me, because <laughs> the problem is when uh, cops harass people, they know if they can afford lawyers or they're gonna go through it, like you know, send lawsuits and stuff like that. But try me. You know what I'm saying dreads, and you might think I don't got that money. <laughs> try me. I got enough to afford me a goddamn lawyer, so try me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Important. I get that money about you. Matters worse. This isn't the first time Officer Moore had been fired from a law enforcement agency. As discussed previously, the officer started his law enforcement career in Greenville, South Carolina, where he had made lieutenant. We got gang wars going on. We got all kinds of stuff. And I come from the big city, but this stuff's small. Greenville is the largest department he's worked for, but it is by no means a big city. He left the department for other reasons yeah. to work well, for the Simpsonville Police Department before moving to hey, Arkansas we're not big at all. also for unknown reasons. And just one year before this incident, he was fired by Lone Oak County Sheriff John Staley, who cited a negative attitude after serving as a deputy for only 10 months. It's unknown if after this dismissal, whether Officer Moore kept with his tradition of department hopping. Bro, 
is that Elon, Arkansas? In trouble. When That's a beautiful city, bro. Order of police claimed that they weren't aware of the incident. And if you're the ones that are out there spreading the rhetoric that police officers are the enemy, well, just know we've all got your number now. We're going to be keeping track of all y'all, and we're going to make sure that we hold you accountable every time you stir the pot on our police officers. We've had enough, folks. We're out there doing our jobs every day, putting our lives on the line for our family. Who's this nerd? <laughs> I'm about to say, hey. Good cut. And of course, the Southern State's Police Benevolent Association would not comment on the case. But I'd still love to know what you think. So as always, let me know down below. And if Yeah, I know what I think, bro. Yeah, I already know what I think, man. Like, like I said before, I'm not a cop hater. I matter of fact, I like understand why we need cops. We need people to police stuff because there's a lot of bad people out there. There's a lot of danger. And there's a lot of help that probably need to be needed right you know what I'm saying so I get why we need police right the reason why people are afraid of the police because of stuff like that <laughs> you know what I'm saying bending the law not even bending the law just making up stuff just to get an arrest uh, assuming that people are bad when they're not like you look at me right Dreadhead, big dude, you would think I'm a menace to society. But you know what I'm saying? I'm a single father, I take care of my kids, I go to work and come home. You know what I'm saying? So, and you can, like, in the field that I work in, which is, you know what I'm saying? I won't say majority white, but a lot of, you know what I'm saying? People up top are white, right? I work a lot of, I work a lot of, I work, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> but I work around a lot of white people right and you can ask them about me bro I'm a big fucking teddy bear and I might look menacing I might look like I'm a, a menace to society I might look like I'm intimidating and all other stuff like that but I'm not you know, big teddy bear y'all know me y'all watch your videos you know what I'm saying so it's just man it has to change bro it has to change, bro. You just can't assume anymore as a cop, bro. Like, it's... Me, personally, I can go out in the streets and I can pick and choose just off demeanor and all this. Not off looks. But just off demeanor, who's a menace and who's not. Even when it comes to white people. You know what I'm saying? They just need to do a better job, bro. They really do. They really do. If they look at me right now and they see the, the truck I'm driving in and stuff like that, they'll probably arrest me thinking I'm a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not. I work. I have my own house. I, I raise my kids. I feed my kids. I go to work every day. But if you look at me straight up and just look at me, you think I'm a minister of society, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? That's past. And that's one of the reasons why I probably keep the dreads too, just because. I kind of want to keep them just because, for one, <laughs> I look terrible without hair. But two, I want to, I want to create this this perspective that like everybody with dread that's black ain't menaces, bro. They can be nice people. Don't you don't have to look at a person with dreads and be like, oh, this dude is just straight up menace. Black Air Force energy, you know what I'm saying? It's not that even I own a pair of black Air Forces, but I'm not a menace. You know what I'm saying? But without further ado, I'm not make, trying to make this video longer than what it is. I'm sorry. That went on a little tangent. But you have to do this stuff, bro. Because we have to change, bro. We have to change the narrative, bro. We do. We have to stop thinking that all cops are good. And they're always right. And they can't get away with breaking the law. Just because some people can't afford uh, attorney fees and, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They can't afford an attorney. Right? So we gotta start creating this narrative that that all cops are good, bro. Cause they're human just like us. No matter what job you have, think of, think of any think of any uh, occupation, bro, that you ever worked and you thought like Phew, that dude is jammed up. Come on, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cops are human too, bro. Without further ado, man. I hope I made sense. I know I was all over the place with this one. But y'all know how I get. 
if you if you know your boy, if you've been watching my videos when it comes to all these 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 lackluster cop videos and stuff like that, you know me, bro. You know how I feel about the situation. I watch this shit all the time. It's annoying. So don't like OT and ask you a cop hater. Don't do that. You know, because I'm not. I respect cops until they disrespect me. Without further ado, hope you enjoyed the video. This is your boy T Nasty. How's your boy? And I'm out.